Yeah, I'm not doing an intro. I am asleep. I have no idea what this one must want for me. Uh, but welcome back. And we are back. This is my color that I'll be using for this painting. I am not about to go through all of it. Music is by Jeanette Harris. I love her. I mix some ivory black with some red and a little bit of white. This is some peach, some Van Dyke brown, and a little bit of yellow ochre. This is crimson mixed with white, crimson, alizarin crimson, and brilliant red. All of this is shades of phthalo blue and white. So let's get started. Don't cancel me. Not yet. So I figured I'd get them in before they got canceled. You gotta be a 90s kid to understand. This cartoon came out before ratings. See, I'm just putting in the sky with those shades of phthalo blue. Yes, um, let's talk about the tone of the canvas. I know some art major is somewhere saying that this chick has lost her mind. She has no idea what she's doing. And that's perfectly fine because I didn't major in art. And... I was never formally trained and I've also noticed that you know what works for me works for me and what works for you works for you and I have found that toning the canvas with um, a very very thin layer of phthalo blue it's transparent thin it makes my paintings pop in a way that is curtail to my style and I can't put a name to my style and I won't it is what works for me my color palette and I like it as I'm going into the street I am um, using that street color from the palette and I'm going in lighter now usually you're supposed to go in darker first and then go in, li in lighter but as I come closer to me to the in the painting to create a little bit of depth what I will do is add that black and alizarin crimson mix at the bottom that is closest to the end of the painting which is out of camera shot because I'm not a videographer either um, but later on you will see me highlight the distant part to make it lighter than the shade that you see here and all I did was add a little bit of titanium white dirty it up a little bit and blend it in I don't make things complicated I keep things very very simple Now, Ren and Stimpy are just the best. They were the best. They are raunchy. They are they are not meant for children at all. And I didn't know that as a child. <laughs> because, again, this was before ratings and all the cancel culture situation. As you see, I'm going in with that black and alizarin crimson. Now, I want to make sure you understand something is that I am using Galkit as a medium which means that my brush strokes right now don't matter I'm I'm using a very thin layer of paint and again you're supposed to go dark before you go light I don't really pay attention to that rule because I know where I want dark and I know where I want light and I know that I need them to blend well to my liking um, so I'm, I'm not a stickler for brush strokes hence why I do use Gal Kid because Gal Kid does smooth out a lot of rough brush strokes if you are not that great with brush work I do recommend in investing in some Gal Kid and frankly don't be standing that close to my painting if, if you are a stickler for brush strokes and you want this to be a 
camera shot. It's not. This is art. This is made by human hands. And I'm not going for hyperrealism. It's a, it's a cartoon. One. And two. If I want hyperrealism, I just take a picture. What you have seen me do is I've taken a shade of that big old blue, the darkest shade, with some gal kit and did the blue part of the eye. And what you see me doing now is adding a little few highlights with a lighter version of that big old blue mixed with white. That sky color is going right into Stimpy's eyes. Um, and also that street color is also going into the dark part, the pupil of the eye. As you see here, I interchange between the crimson white and the actual brilliant red. And here I'm using some of that street gray to cast a shadow to make Stimpy's arm pop. There's so many things you can create depth with besides white and black. It's all about light and dark and the more that I paint and the more that you guys paint with me, I have learned that you don't necessarily need black or any mix of black to actually just create a darker shade. And I think it's good practice, especially in the beginning, to always make it a point to never paint with straight up white or straight up black. I learned so much from just doing that. Now, my color palette is very simple. Now, that color palette you saw for Ren, it's, it's literally portrait peach, Van Dyke brown mixed together with a little bit of yellow ochre, and a little bit of white. And then it's basically yellow ochre and Van Dyke brown for the shading. And at this point, what I am doing, it has no particular map, but you see, I drew my son and not many artists actually paint the sun, but me painting the sun gives me a source of light. Um, and I know exactly where my lights and my darks will be for the rest of this painting because I know where the light's coming from. all been waiting for the pillar t-shirt contest i really do not agree with her giving anything away right now now check this out after you comment below you got to screenshot, screenshot your comment screenshot it. and then send it to my facebook messenger to claim your prize So now what you see me do is actually just painting in Ren's face. Ren Hoek. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy. Wait a minute. I got to get you out. El Fuzzo. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Yeah. I only did it so she'd fill up my food bowl. It's halfway empty. Warning, the way that I paint and the way that I put color on the canvas would make people that do this, you know, have been doing this all their lives cringe. But it looks horrible, but the results that I want, I get. But right now it's like, what is this? But I have a plan, okay? Blending is always a part of the plan. I don't, I don't care what other artists say, blending is always a part of my plan when I paint. Blending is 
Here she go with that dag on paper towel. I wish she would just stop messing up, but this is not my painting. I'm just here for the show. So now you see me painting in Ren. I mean, Stimpy's face. I'm messing up everywhere. Anyway, all I did was take that peach mix that I used with Ren, and I dipped it in a little bit of more white. And um, I played back and forth with the yellow ochre I also use with them. As we have discussed in my previous videos, using similar colors or the same colors that you are actually painting with in different aspects of different subjects in your painting helps the painting come together as far as lights and colors. It just, to me, it just melds so much better. It looks like they are both exposed to the same type of light. Something I really want to discuss is that whole, you don't have to draw the paint, and you don't. Um, I just happen to be able to draw. Um, and it's one of my hidden talents. A lot of my friends out this year have found out that, ooh, Miss Q can draw. <laughs> well, yeah, I can. I just don't usually have the time to do so. But with the whole Panduze, I've had some time to actually get my skills back up. Don't forget, screenshot your comment. Then send me your size to painting a pathway on Facebook Messenger. I really just want to give you something to look forward to. This is my contribution to the whole Panduze.